Let's use prime factor tiles to calculate how many zeros would be at the end of 10 factorial. Now, if you're not sure what 10 factorial is, it's this huge product here. It's 10 times 9 times 8 and so on, all the way down to, to times 1, uh, which is a massive number, but I want to know how many zeros are at the end of it. So to figure that out, I'm going to take each of these individual factors and decompose it into its prime factors. So 10 would be 2 times 5. 9 is 3 times 3. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. 7 is prime. 6 is 2 times 3. 5 is another prime. 4 is 2 times 2. And then 3 and 2 are both prime. And I don't need to worry about the 1 because when I multiply by 1, I'm not going to change the value of the product. So if I multiply all these prime factors together, I get the value of 10 factorial. But how many zeros will be at the end of it? And to figure that out, I need to pull out any factor of 10. So 2 and 5 here, that gives me 10. And I can make another 10 by pulling out this 5 and any of the any of the 2s I want. And that gives me another 10. So 10 factorial is all this lot here multiplied by 10 and multiplied by 10 again. And notice there's no way of making another um, another 10 out of these prime tiles that I've got left because there are no 5s. So whatever this is, I know it's not going to end in a 0 because it can't possibly be a multiple of 10. So at the end of 10 factorial, there must be two zeros because it's going to be all this lot multiplied by 100. And if you're interested, if I multiply all these together, I actually get 36,288. And if I multiply by the 100, you can see it's 3.6 million and then it's got two zeros there at the end.